ministries, we are right at the bottom, just near next to Ministry of Welfare and Women and Community. You see, that's how people look at tourism. <clears throat> but tourism has grown by leaps and bounds in the world economic stage. Okay? I have been invited to World Economic Forum this Sunday to speak this Sunday and Monday. And you know, in a World Economic Forum, people don't talk tourism in the past at all. They talk finance, they talk trade, they talk security, etc. But this time, they have allocated one special panel discussion. And amongst that special the panel discussion, of which one of the panelists is the Director General of World Trade Organization, is on tourism. And who should they invite but Malaysian tourism? Not me, Malaysian tourism. Because Malaysia has been recognized as a rising star in the world tourism platform. We, my read, in 2009, achieved the status of the ninth most traveled to country in the world. Ninth in the world. Not in Southeast Asia, in the world. And only two Asian countries went in top 10. One is China, placed number four. Then Malaysia, placed number nine. And we are only 28 million population. China is 1.3 billion. I always say we have got 300 years history. China is 5,000 years history. But because of our confidence of what we have, because of our people, our commitment, our commitment to political stability, our commitment to make Malaysia the best example of harmony to the world. Because of God's gift to us of our nature, world's oldest rainforest, 1,000 islands, everything. And because of our Malaysian's creativity, like <coughs> ICT, that's why we can achieve the ninth position and we received 24.6 million tourists last year. International tourists, not domestic tourism. And with a receipt of 56.4 billion ringgit, which is 1 billion ringgit a week.